What's going on everybody? This is Broken Games HDR. Back at it again with another video. Nice to talk to all of you again. Good to see all of you. Um, we are in, you know, the eye of the tornado as far as like gaming news is about to go. A lot of shit is about to go down. You know, we had the, uh, the state of play last week. Uh, Summer Game Fest is happening today. You know, we are in the midst of what's supposed to be, you know, E3 time. So there's going to be a lot of information, you know, a lot of reveals, a lot of new games. We're about to, even though we're in it like somewhat of a, of a dry period, I got plenty to play, but you know, some people say it's a dry period. Um, there's going to be a lot of news, even though there's not going to be a lot of necessarily games dropping around this time. And uh, the news that we just got, and it's a leak, uh, right? This is not an official announcement, but it's clearly real, is The Last of Us Part 1. It's being called Part 1 now, you know, retroactively, uh, because there was no reason to call Part 1 Part 1 back in, like, 2013. Um, but The Last of Us Part 1 remake has been um, leaked, right? And it's going to be PS5. Uh, it's going to be released on PS5 on September 2nd, I believe it is. Yes, September 2nd. Um, and the PC version is also in development to come out at a later time. So still not day and date. Obviously, that's a big conversation right now. Uh, when are PlayStation games going to go day one? If they're going to go day one, a lot of people theorize that it's going to happen. Still not happening now. Um but this is one of the, I don't know if they've ever announced a PlayStation first party game and also uh, stated, you know, um, that it's also in development for PC at the same time as the announcement, right? There is a trailer out for this. So if you haven't seen the trailer, you can check it out. If you follow like any of the uh, like Wario 64 or, or Nebelion on Twitter, um, then you know you can uh, check out the uh, check out the trailer. Trailer looks good. Um, the PlayStation blog has not updated this because obviously uh, they, the PlayStation blog has not announced this uh, or updated this on the website because this has not officially been announced by PlayStation yet. This is a leak. I assume um, that this was going to be announced during Summer Game Fest, which. I think happens goes uh, officially starts in about an hour, right? So it obviously leaked uh, before this. And, you know, what's great is for PlayStation, PlayStation fans, we have an actual insider now. You know how <laughs> it's so funny. We have like 20 people who claim to be insiders and who claim to know what's going on at PlayStation and, you know, and, and always put out these rumors on Twitter and they're always wrong 95% of the time, we actually have an, an actual insider, right? And this this seems to be somebody who is actually like work, I don't know, it seems like they're working at PlayStation um, or have a, a, a real connection to somebody who works at PlayStation because they leaked the entire state of play agenda, every game, every release date, prior to the state of play and this this account by the way it's insider underscore wtf if you want to follow follow him he calls himself the snitch um and yeah he 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 announced the state of play all the games and yesterday he announced the last of us part one uh was going to be um was going to be released on September 2nd, which we learned today, uh, and he announced that it was going to console and PC, which we also learned. I'm thinking this guy, what what territory puts the uh, puts the day first in the date format? Because you know, in the U.S., we put month, day, then year. This guy put um, day, month, then year, right? Isn't it in the UK where people put date formats like that? Or it, it might only be in the US we put the month first. But uh, all I'm saying is like that might kind of point out to where this guy is actually from. Um, because, you know, based on the date format that he uses. And he just made this account, by the way, last month. So this is somebody that just got the inside, who just got the connection to PlayStation. And I'm happy about this because we finally have some reliable information um, that's you know about what's gonna come 
uh, from PlayStation down the pipeline. So just wanted to give that insider a shout out because we have so much unreliable inside uh, un unreliable insiders that come from PlayStation. But back to The Last of Us, right? So yeah, so it's launching at seventy dollars. People are still shocked at seventy dollars for for some reason. I wish all of you would get over it. I wish all listen. I'm not somebody who's going to argue with you about whether something is worth it or not. That's not my thing. But when are people going to like, how, how many times are you going to be shocked by something? How many times does something have to happen for you to be shocked by it? Like, oh, it's a remake. Okay, so was Demon Souls. Like, yes, that was $70 too. This is PlayStation. Not defending them, not saying it's okay. But what I'm saying is, just like any other product that exists in the world, when people think like, hey, this is not worth it. Nobody gets on Twitter except for gas. You know, gas fluctuates. So that's a different story when, you know, gas is like $6 a gallon and shit like that. That's different. But when there's a product, you walk into a store and you see a product and, you, and you're like, hey, that's, I don't think that that product is worth that price. You know what you do? You just walk out. You just decide I'm not gonna buy it. Only with video games, where something is a certain price and it's and it's becoming a norm and you should expect it, people are. <gasps> it's seventy dollars. <gasps> like, bro, when are y'all just gonna like when when is when is it gonna register in y'all brain and that this is just gonna be the norm heading you know moving forward in the industry? It's not a PlayStation thing, you know. It's not a Sony thing. It's pretty much the, the whole industry damn, damn near, right? It's just going to be the norm. So can y'all please stop acting so shocked about it? Either buy it or wait for a price drop or don't buy it. It's as simple as that. Creating these think pieces on Twitter and acting shocked by it. I'm like, bro, y'all going to do, are y'all going to do this forever? Seriously, that like get over it. That's all I'm saying. So yeah, releasing September 2nd. This will not include factions though. This does not include factions. So factions apparently is still standalone. It says the last of us part one includes the complete last of Us single player story. They made sure to put that in the, in the description on the, on the game page, um, because they know people were going to ask about factions and, um, and the celebrated prequel chapter left behind. So it comes with left behind, which was DLC. And uh, it's a it's a remake, you know, from the ground up. They, of course, didn't do reshoots of mocap or anything. It's the same a animations, but it's just new. Uh, it's just new assets right over them. Right. That's all it is. It's just new assets, really. Uh, the game description also says experience the emotional storytelling and unforgettable characters of Joel of Joel and Ellie in The Last of Us, winner of over 200 Game of the Year awards and now rebuilt for PS5. It's PS5, you know, not cross-gen. Um, enjoy a total overhaul of the original experience, faithfully uh, reproduced, but incorporating modernized gameplay, improved controls, and expanding ex expanded accessibility options. Plus feel immersed with improved effects and enhanced exploration and combat. So I'm, I'm, I'm interested to see what changes they make, right? To, to gameplay because if you look at the trailer it just looks like uh you know last of us one running on uh what would be uh last of us two's um you know i mean like yeah last of us part two's like engine and visuals and all and all that stuff so i'm sure they're gonna not mess with the story too much but add a few things to kind of like flesh out the story to connect it to part two but i'm sure they're not gonna like change too much so i'm not like super excited about this i'm not like doing backflips i mean it's a remake right of course i'm gonna buy it day one but we played the the original last of us on ps3 we played the remaster on ps4 this is a remake so it's it's gonna be great you know looking at it and it's gonna play a lot smoother and everything like that but what i'm really excited for is factions that's what i look forward to and it's clear that it's still gonna be standalone which i think it's a it's is a good thing because that means they're gonna treat it like its own product they're not going to treat it like a you know like this tag along thing um you know that's part of the last of us part one uh you know you know sony's plans with live service games so they're going to actually treat this game like a live service game and give it all the attention and support 
and, uh, you know, in, in everything that it needs. So I'm happy about that because I want that uh, type of support for this multiplayer game that I really look forward to. Side, side note, sidebar, th this coming out September 2nd makes you think about um, God of War Ragnarok. Is God of War Ragnarok still going to come out this year? We got a few clues that pointed that gave us a little bit of uh, faith that it was going to come out this year, like the merchandising. Um, you know, we got so, a few confirmations from developers from Santa Monica, and there were a few uh, other things. Oh, it was rated in Korea and everything like that. So, when, so all those things makes you think like, oh yeah, it's definitely coming out. But then we got a rumor that the placeholder date was changed and it was updated, and there was some rumor I think from Game Reactor like, oh, it's gonna, um, it's it's been delayed, and then. The Last of Us Part 1 coming out in September, where we thought God of War was going to come out, it's hard to, like, really imagine God of War coming out. October, I can see, but November, no way. I can't see God of War coming out in November. It just doesn't look, doesn't sound doesn't sound right, doesn't look right. It's not something that I think PlayStation is going to do. PlayStation, you know, usually isn't crazy about releasing games during that time, that month of the year. So it might be delayed till 2023. Um, so I don't know, because um, you, you obviously can drop The Last of Us Part 1 and God of War in the same month. Um, maybe Last of Us Part 1, September, 20, September 2nd. Uh, God of War Ragnarok first week in October, I could see that, um, but I guess I guess we will see. We don't know. Um, you know, looking at these screenshots and looking looking at the trailer, uh, of course the game looks um, much. <clears throat> it's 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 kind of it, it it's kind of strange because I don't want to say like because The Last of Us came out not is it even ten years ago yet. No, it's not even 10 years ago. Um, it's about nine years ago, right? That was 2013 when it came out. Like, the, of course it looks cleaner. It looks crispier. It looks better. But the jump, right, it, it doesn't seem to me to be this jump like what Demon Souls was uh, to Demon Souls Remake. At least not to me. It doesn't seem um, that way. Maybe it's because we got the remaster. Maybe because the gap... Uh, between graphics, between the original Demon Souls games and the remake, um, you could say, yeah, it was, it, and it was more time because Demon Souls, what was that, two thousand eight, two thousand nine? So yeah, more time passed between those games, right? Um, if I'm getting those dates right, maybe I'm not. I can't remember. But all I'm saying is like, it doesn't seem like the the jump d isn't like a wowing me, like wow, you know, like maybe if this was a PS two game and you know now we're getting on a ps5 you know that would pro that would definitely be more of a um significant uh and noteworthy visual jump um <clears throat> so yeah like i said i'm not like it's a day one but i'm not like super excited for it i i really look i'm really looking forward to factions and um i'm i'm, I'm a little i'm a little bit surprised because we 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 learned about this rumor, obviously, a while ago, um, that it was the it was the other studio, the support studio, I believe, that started working on the remake. Was it was it the support studio? I think it was a support studio and Sony Bend, wasn't it? Something like that. Um, and I'm I was a little bit surprised that it's coming out this year. Um, it makes sense because listen, if you if you want to drop something in September and you don't have something ready, if God of War isn't ready, a remake doesn't take you know that much time. If they need some more time to clean up God of War or whatever, um, but God of War the TV show comes out next year, so I thought this game was also going to come out next year to like coincide with it. Um, maybe not released at the same time as the TV show, but around, you know, in the, in the same year, I, I guess. But, you know, um, I guess it, it gets people um, who are familiar with The Last of Us, uh, who obviously played it already, and some new people. Listen, some new people, uh, you know, the two, gener two generations later, you might have some people, believe it or not, who still haven't played The Last of Us. You know, it's, it's definitely... Um, it's definitely likely. 
there's still people out there who haven't played it. So, yeah, uh, th those are my thoughts on it, man. Um, let me know what y'all think. Uh, please hit the like button. Uh, plan to cover, you know, all the relevant gaming news that uh, comes out um, today and throughout the week and Summer Game Fest and all that good stuff. And, uh, yeah, I'll be making videos. So let me know what y'all think about this Last of Us Part 1 remake. Um, are you excited for it? Um, and just, yeah, just let me know how you feel about it. Follow me on Twitter. If you're not, hit the like button. Uh, hit the notification bell so you can know anytime I upload a video. And I will catch y'all on the next one. I'm out of here. Peace.